Animal Rescue Corps' mission is to end animal suffering through direct compassionate action and to inspire the highest ethical standards for the treatments of animals. We've been in operation almost five and a half years, and in that time, there's been dozens of rescues and thousands of animals saved. And we were designed specifically to address situations of large-scale animal cruelty and to be the resource for communities who lack the resource to otherwise address those situations. We're here at our emergency animal shelter just outside of Nashville, Tennessee, where over 130 animals are now safe in three large-scale rescue operations we've conducted over the past week. We received a call last night at 10 o'clock at night from the Morgan County Sheriff's Department. Their officers had just responded to a complaint of animal cruelty. They came on scene and found absolutely horrendous conditions of a puppy mill approximately 20 dogs living. We don't know how many are deceased just yet. They contacted us, they, they said they had no resources and these dogs were in dire need and we obviously could not hesitate. Within less than 24 hours, we got all team members on the ground out here in Morgan County. We've been pulling dogs out of the structure all day long. We are always prepared for the worst. We expect to see the worst, but today's been a rough day. When we first get to a scene, before we do any rescuing, I have to document everything as we find it. I'm just alone with them and they're suffering and uh, it's during that time, but I'm trying to really show everybody what, what these guys have lived with. In the case of a puppy mill, this, this is reality. They were just covered in thousands of fleas, more than I think I've ever seen before. As a result of the fleas, they had hair loss and sores on their body, um, anemia from the blood loss, internal parasites also. There was a surprise on this case. We weren't told about the seven donkeys, the, the roosters, the pot belly pigs. We have to remain fluid because you show up to get dogs and there's donkeys. You've got to do some quick logistical planning for that. There's always surprises and it's uh, great to have resources developed to make things happen. These animals did not have any time to wait. They needed us now and we've been here for them and we can only be here for them because of you. We are on scene here in Gibson County, Tennessee. We're intaking animals from absolutely horrendous conditions. This is our second puppy mill rescue in a week's time. Puppy mills exist in every state and every province of Canada and the United States. It's everywhere. That's why it's important for us to educate people. This is where nearly 100% of the dogs sold in pet stores come from. Millions of animals live in nearly 15,000 puppy mills in the United States alone. A lot of people think that it doesn't happen in my community, and it does, it happens everywhere. I'd received a complaint uh, about a possible puppy mill, and today we found a total of 50. We just made the determination then that, that this was a, a bad situation and that we needed to do something to remove them from the property. So I reached out to ARC. We just absolutely in the county wouldn't have the, the resources without Animal Rescue Corps. He came straight to us to make sure that the case was handled from start to finish, see the case through. So these are the conditions we've been finding. Internal and external parasites, extreme matting. They're all living in their own urine and feces. These guys were left with no food and water, so we saw a lot of dehydration. Um, we administered subcute fluids in the field. Their eyes were matted shut. Eye infections, ear infections, overgrown nails, long-term general neglect. Very typical conditions of a puppy mill, but we're moving, we're getting them out of here. And you, our supporters, can count on me and this team to stop at nothing in our crusade to end puppy mills once and for all. We're in Minton County, Tennessee, supporting one of our local law enforcement partners, dealing with about 14 Husky mixed dogs, just living in absolutely neglectful conditions. The reason why you see us here in the Tyvek suits, there appears to be some drain off from a septic tank leading into this pen. It certainly smells like it, so we're using all precautions because we don't want to get any human waste on us or in us in any way. 
Here in the county, I'm the only animal control officer. An operation like this would take me days by myself. Anybody out there that does animal control and animal rescue needs to have a good relationship with these guys. Macon County Animal Control. We worked with them back in January. We have a very good relationship with organizations that we've worked with before. That is how we can accomplish so much of this. Tomorrow will be a lot different than today. The first day they come in, they're typically shut down in the back of the cage, whereas two days later you're coming in and they're at the front of the cage, jumping up and down, excited to see you. That's the most important thing, letting them, you know, learn people and learn that it's going to be okay. <laughs> and that's one of the reasons why we ask for so many volunteers, is so we can ensure that they're getting as much socializing as we can provide. They have every right to be so fearful. I truly believe, as in all of our cases, once we get these guys back to our emergency shelter and start showing them the love and compassion that a human truly can offer them, they're resilient. They'll start to turn in, into dogs, and it'll be a, an amazing feat to watch. It's our honor to watch that. So whether it's a puppy mill or a hoarding case or a dog fighting operation, we couldn't do this alone. We take care of the general vetting and behavior assessments, and then we place them with our trusted placement partners. They get these dogs into forever homes. In the five years that I've been with Animal Rescue Corps, I have met the most amazing, compassionate people all across the United States and Canada. We put out a call for help and they show up. Scotland asked me to uh, join with him in creating this organization and in uh, fall of 2010, we formed and launched in January of 2011 with our first rescue operation just months later. I was working at another animal protection organization at the time and was interested in doing more to protect those that didn't have anyone else to speak for them. My first experience with ART, I was newly the director of a um, animal shelter. We were a placement partner already and they just completed a 96 dog rescue and got to get involved that way and just sort of started doing a little more with each rescue. It was four years ago this past February. I heard about them in 2012 and uh, looked them up and there was a bark training they were offering in Nashville. So I went to that and then the next day was Operation Sweethearts and I've been volunteering ever since. I had to choose a project for one of my photography classes. I had chosen to document an animal rescue and so I spent several months, I guess, with that rescue. And I um, was really fascinated by the people and the work that they did and just the animals and the stories. Once I found out about Animal Rescue Corps, I knew right away that I wanted to be a part of the organization. Animal Rescue Corps is a 99% volunteer organization. Um, we simply couldn't be that resource for communities if our volunteers didn't come and help and give up their own time and give to these animals. It's only with the gift of their service that we're able to provide this resource to communities. Anyone can volunteer for Animal Rescue Corps as long as they're over the age of 18. We have a spot for everyone, from vets, vet techs, animal care providers, groomers, volunteers who come in and just want to hold a dog all day. And that's still important. Socialization of animals who have never been held before is extremely important so we can set them up for success when they leave our shelter. Appreciate our Animal Rescue Corps coming, not just to rescue the dogs, but to rescue us. This was something that needed to be done, but without their help, we, we, it wouldn't have been possible. They're a lifesaver. Compassion in action is our motto. It's one thing to be compassionate, and it's another thing to do something with that. On behalf of the staff and volunteers of Animal Rescue Corps, and the animals we have collectively saved, thank you. Thank you for standing with us as we promise them new life.